Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the beautiful split map Europe, greatest blizzards of all time. We cap here the gosh darn center. We, we, need, we, need, we need to play out the game maps. of our lives because the pink player is extremely overpowered this game. Yeah, blue is there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, blue, green is there. Oh my gosh, all my opponents are on that side of the map. The only one I have to worry about is the yellow player. Oh my gosh. Yeah, where is yellow? Um, I don't know or care. We can do possible half map domination, you guys. Paid actors. That's yellow's capital, so yellow must be my target this game. What are the odds of this roll? 79% do not go for that because I could lose everything right there. But all my opponents on the right-hand side besides yellow, or left-hand side besides yellow, so that's really good for us. Imagine if yellow was here, we just take over the entire right-hand side and just crush everything. That's insane. We know where every capital is, which gives us some amazing mobility options and choice. Purple takes over their bonus of France, but I wonder what yellow is going to do. Like, blue is just completely stuck. They picked the worst capital ever. This is why we did not cap on London. That was the trap spot. Green gets seven. Green's going to be looking to take over West Africa. Since no one else is down here, like, if yellow was in Andalusia, like, we would just completely crush this game. But in this case now, green will not allow yellow to hold. Yeah, they're going to break that first. Do they take over the bonus or do they wait? Waiting is not the worst thing in the world because if the game goes long, like, green's actually in a good spot. The question for us is how much of a homie is a yellow player and how much do they want to work with us or do they want to break us? If they break us and slow down our game, we do have to be cautious. Here we can see, like, blue is just taking over their bonus right now, but they see pink, right? So pink should not be allowing that to happen. Does yellow want to be our friend or our foe? Like, I do think not hitting yellow was the right decision, because pink would have taken our capital otherwise. In a game like this, long-term fundamentals are really good for us i already know yellow picked a pretty bad capital with where things are at so i'm already assuming they're a bit of a weaker player nothing is worth it yellow give up yes oh my gosh yes okay now we get 11. all right okay okay so based off of this i think we take another bonus here the center one taking over these two territories while keeping our capital a little bit stronger we don't break purple. We stay good neighbor with them. And we just hold. And purple just gets five. Purple got broken. They did not take over France. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this game? Oh my gosh. So if they're just getting broken and they're just getting slowed down. Blue is going to be blasting off into yet the pink. They're going to take forever to get anything. On the next turn, we can just take over all of Eastern Europe. And then we just are become the world's greatest giga chat, everybody. We just take over the entire right hand side of the map. The title of this video for YouTube, everybody, is Greatest Blizzards Ever. Now, pink is possibly going hard into blue. That's good. We're going to see how many troops they have left on capital, and if pink goes for the capital. They don't, they just break blue. So basically, blue and pink are going to be attacking each other to the end of time. We do have to watch the green player. Like, green's attacking, but they're not taking anything fast. They're lowering our territory countdown, which is a little disconcerting. But if we take over Eastern Europe, then we will be able to focus in. Oh my gosh, blue lost their capital. Okay, okay, so now this means a pink player with one turn away from Noob Corner. There's a lot of moving pieces going around. We still hold all the cards because we have all the territory. And yellow just gets five, so basically blue is out of this game. 
We just gotta be very aggressive. There's nothing else to do. Let's just be super aggressive. Take over everything fast. So let's do that. Aggression pays. And 12 is good enough on capital right now. So I'm very fine here. I'm very, very fine with this. Purple has France, but they can't get really anything else. If they take Germany, I'm completely fine with this. On the next turn, we're going to blast through and take over the majority of Russia. Actually, no, we take over Orient. Because Purple's not doing much right now. They don't have the Spain bonus. They don't have like anything else. Pink right now is getting 10. They just finished taking over the rest of Scandinavia. And then now the next turn, they're going to take over London. And then they're going to start attacking Purple. So then purple and pink are going to be natural enemies with each other and we'll be slowing each other down. The green player, we don't see where they are attacking from right now. And this is good. They're trying to take over this bonus here, but that's fine. We just knock them out. So right now we're in a position where green is going to be moving upwards through Spain. Pink's going to be moving downwards through here. Purple's going to get swallowed, right? They're going to, be, they're going to just get absolutely crushed. So with 24 troops, we're going to place this all down here. We're going to take over the yellow player capital now. Just clear out the players. And now the only player that can reasonably stop us is... Uh, the purple player, or sorry, the green player who's back back here. Once we clear out the rest of Russia, we take over Orient. Then we have half map domination, everybody. That's going to be really critical for us. And obviously just be good neighbor with these guys because, yeah, yellow's MIA now. Like, purple can't afford the war with us. They would have to attack us very aggressively. And I don't think they want to do that. Yes, take over Germany, bro. You're going to get a lot of problems coming up soon. We're also controlling the blue player kill. The problem is we just do not know what's in Spain. So it's not worth going for it. We know all the bottom of here is green, and then probably the most of this here is Russia. We're going to now be knocked out of the entire uh, right hand, left hand side of the board. But we don't care about the left hand side because that's going to be a cluster truck. Pink is now attacking aggressively. Purple still owns Germany. That's good. That means they'll continue attacking the pink player that way. And now there's just green. If green doesn't stop us, next turn we take over the entire like uh, side of the board. And then we're just unstoppable. Yep, and green just is leaving everybody alone right now. So now we're just getting 28 troops right now, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely ridiculous. And with that 28 troops, we're going to clear out blue. I don't care if they're dead or not. Someone else can take the card. We don't care about that. And honestly, I don't care about that. We now have the entire side of the board because this is not Russia, right? If we look at this here, this territory, this is the pink part, Ruskiala. I don't own that, so I don't own Russia. I might need an emergency card for later. But guys, this is it. Half map domination right here. We got it. We got the board down within five turns. Holy guacamole. Greatest Europe blizzards ever. Nothing else besides this. Yeah, but pink can't do anything to us. Yeah, they're just attacking purple. They're just attacking purple. Blue dies, because that was blue's last spot, okay? Purple did not take over Germany. But us having a 15 stack means these guys can't do anything to us. So pink has the one border dupe corner. The green player has having one border... No, they don't have one border Spain yet. They will have it soon. Green gets a six trade in. So it looks like they're looking to take over their one spot here. Because right now we're getting more troops than all the other opponents. 37 per turn. Like, that's serious stuff right there. We get a 100% roll there. We trade in. Get the extra troops on Vienna. We full stack there.
We just placed a 55 down. We're not doing anything. If I hold this side of the board like this, I'm going to win. I'm going to hold for a turn or two and then go. I'm going to let my opponents keep attacking each other. I'm at 106 troops without any confrontation to owning this side of the board. I'm yep, purple not going to do anything to us, man. I have a freaking 55 there. You're not going to hit that. That's going to kill you. And pink still holds the noob corner, but I think pink's mostly on London. They can't really hit us. So the only player that truly can hit us is the green player. They're only beginning like 17 or so, and they're going to be off capital. And pink trades in early. Do we have a trade-in for ourselves? Yes. Do we want to use that trade-in? And how would we use it? Like, pink's attacking a lot right now. We don't see where. Leader three out of six. Is the purple player dead? No. Did they just go into green, possibly? Yeah, it means green's doing my work now. Yeah, green's just getting five. Yeah, so per pink went full on into green. Oh my gosh. And there's three capitals right now, which is insane. This is a three-player game right now, you guys. Now we're going to go in. I'm not taking that capital because I don't care about that. I'm also going to be keeping this green stack here so I can kill it for later. I hold this, I win. I hold pink here, I win. I take my time with this. We're going to do this right to win this game, you guys. We're going to do this the right way. Yeah, because purple can trade in, but they're not going to hit the 50 stack. That's too much. Purple might be trying to kill the pink player right now my opponents are just going into each other they're just basically handing me the game yeah that's yellow but we don't care about the yellow player yellow was a bot the whole time they have zero cards the purple player just took over germany yellow now gets 14 or sorry pink gets 14 they put all of them down there that's fine pink's now attacking a little bit but they can't do anything crazy because they've already traded in like you can see all the attacking they've done right now you also know the rest of the of the other uh, green player is here. And there's a green spot here in Paris. Yep, this should be the last spot. We see three troops here. We know that we can go for it. Yep, that's the last spot of green. We're going to get those cards and have an amazing advantage to take this game, you guys. I feel like my entire risk career has been playing for this one game in the one moment. And we are going to achieve this, ladies and gentlemen, even if it kills us. We are going to do this. So that's a green player down. And that means we're likely going to be getting this next set here. We're getting the largest trade-ins and the biggest location and advantage for ourselves. We're going to take this bonus here. And now look at this. We have a 50 and a 37 down on the entire part of the board. If our opponents smack anything, they die. Like they're actually going to die. We have a trade in now as well that we can do. Like purple, you can't do it, man. You're going to die. I'll kill you if you hit that. And they just go back. To try to stay alive. But pink can't do anything. They basically threw all their cards in against the green player. Yep, so that's all pink has right there. And now we just get 60 troops. We just get 60 troops. Insane. Absolute insanity. And with these 60 troops, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be eliminating the purple player from this game there we go and the pink player just gives up good game and well played the greatest blizzards 
ever. This is Olive XC signing off.